Hi, my name is Tom Mavro and welcome to the Cut It TV training channel. The channel has been set up to provide easy to follow training tutorials in today's key media production software. Cut It itself is a UK based training company with over 15 years experience providing hands on training in media production. If you would like any further information about our training services, please visit our website at www.cut-it.tv or check us out on social media. I hope you enjoy the following tutorial. Before you start editing, it's never a bad idea to do a little bit of organization in terms of your clips within your project. Now, when you import clips into a project, they will appear in the project window, and I've already imported an ABCHD folder with some footage in that we can have a look at. All of the windows in Adobe Premiere are dynamically resizable, so I can, if I want to, move to the area between two windows and drag, and it will extend one window whilst reducing the size of the other. So I'm just gonna extend out and make my project window a little bit bigger. Now there's more than one way of looking at the project window. The mode I'm in at the moment is icon mode and there's a little slider in the bottom left hand corner of the window that allows you to expand or resize the, the icons themselves. I though tend to prefer to work with my project window in list mode. So there are two buttons in the bottom left hand corner that allow you to switch between the icon mode and the list mode. So I'm going to switch into list view here. In list view, rather than seeing thumbnails, we see icons. Because I imported a whole folder in previously, the folder comes in as what's known as a bin. Bins are effectively exactly the same as folders, but within the project window. Each bin will have a drop down triangle next to it, which allows you to open up and see the contents of that bin. So if I go into this sub bin called stream, it will let me see all of the files within that bin. Now, because these have all come from an ABCHD camera, they just have code names next to them. There's no named clips. One of the advantages of a list view though is that I can see various bits of information about these clips. So I can see things like the duration of each clip, the time code information for where the clip starts and ends. I can see frame rate information, frame size information, pixel shape information. And if I scroll along, there are also some columns in here in which I can add some information. So I can click in a description field and add a little description note or a log note, or I can tick a clip as a good shot by clicking in the little tick box there. A new option in here to CC15 is the ability to also hide a clip by clicking in the hide column. Also, one other useful thing that you can do in the list mode is if you click on a column heading, so for example, if I click on media duration, it will then group the clips via that column heading. So it's grouping them from shortest to longest. Or if I click on the heading again, it show me them from longest to shortest. If I click back on the name column, that will then organize them via alphabetical order or numeric order in this case, or I can reverse that also. Now, one of the biggest issues when you're actually editing is looking for media you might know that you've got a certain shot of something but when you come to find it you can't find it and you waste a lot of time looking for that shot there's two or three simple ways of organizing your media that are going to help you avoid that situation the first organizational method that you can use is to create additional bins and move relevant clips into bins. With the clips just having a numeric name as they are at the moment, it can be quite hard to find certain shots. So what you can also do is open a bin up in a separate window by double clicking on it. And you can switch this additional window between both the list and the icon view. What I tend to do where I've got a project with a lot of media is open up individual bins, switch them into icon view so I can see the media but keep the main window in the list view so I've still got the advantages of all the column information and so on. To preview a clip in icon view, you can do two things. You can skim the clip, so you can just move your mouse left or right over the clip itself, and it will give you a little preview of the clip. And if I need to do that in more detail, I can zoom in on the footage itself. Or also, if I click on a clip, a little bar appears at the bottom with a handle on it called the playhead and I can it's called scrub through the clip and if the clip itself has audio I will also then hear the audio also in this mode I can play the clip by hitting my space bar
and also pause the clip again by hitting the spacebar a second time. So this allows me to visually find media. Another good idea is to name your clips. So for example, if I wanna maybe make a note of some of the wide shots in my, um, in my footage here, I can go in and I can click in the name element of a clip here and rename it. Let's call that WS Hall 1. And then click in this one, WS Hall 2 and so on. So this is obviously gonna make it much easier for me to find those clips. However, I've still got a big list of clips here to go through. So what I would also then do is put key clips into named bins, and then I can find them much more easily. To create a new bin in your project window, you can do it in a couple of ways. You can go to the file menu, new, and choose bin from there, or use command or control B as the keyboard shortcut whether you're on Mac or PC. You can do a right click in your project window, choose new bin, or there's actually at the bottom right hand corner of the project window, a new bin button, which will also generate a new bin. You can then name your bins. So let me create a bin called wide shots. And now to move anything into that bin, I just drag and drop it. So I'm gonna go into the ABCHBD bin. I'm going to find my first wide shot. In fact, because there's quite a long list here, it might be worthwhile again opening this in a, a separate window and maybe switching that to list view. Wide shot hall one, wide shot hall two. I'm going to select those by just clicking on and holding shift down. So it selects both and then drag them into the wide shots bin. How you use bins, what you name bins really depends on the nature of the edit you're doing. So you might have different bins for different locations. You might have an interviews bin, a B-roll bin, and you can also create sub bins as well. If I wanted to within my wide shots bin, if I, I can create a sub bin. Now to do this, you can either create a bin outside of the bin you wanna put it in and drag it in. So if I just create one here called people, so I can have a wide shots people bin. What I can then do is go back to my footage find some wide shots of people and drag them into the people bin. A second way of creating um, a sub bin is to do a right click on an existing bin and then choose new bin and that will create a sub bin for me. So on this logos one, let's create a sub bin called close ups. And then if I've got any close ups of logos, select those. And again, if I want to select more than one, just click on one hold shift down, click on another one, that'll select everything in between and drag those into the close-ups bin. The more complex your edit, the more footage you've got to deal with, the more time you should spend organizing your footage at the start of your project. This will save you considerable amounts of time potentially further down the line. One final little tip. If, like me, you've adjusted the size of windows, move things around, if you wanna quickly get your interface back to its default editing configuration. If you go to the window menu, there is a workspaces option. Editing will have a dot next to it because I've not switched to any of the alternative layouts. If I go to reset to saved layout, that will reset the layout back to its original configuration. Also, if I'd shut or moved any of the tabs in any of these windows, it would also put all those back in place and open them up if I'd closed them.